Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. PL SQL Practice Project Part 2 Stored Procedure. Today we are going to present you a live demonstration and implementation of PL SQL Stored Procedure script to display value from table. So, as per our uh, PL SQL playlist and the course, in the second session, we have uh, learned about how to create a stored procedure. And uh, we have learned about syntaxes in an uh, example. And there, we have uh, seen a practice project to display the values from the table. So, let's take a quick recap and see how to create a procedure and execute it. Create or replace procedure, procedure name, argument, int, data type is as variable declaration, constant declaration if you have any. In the begin section, we'll come up with the PL SQL subprogram body, an exception if needed, an end to end the procedure, uh, declaration and definition. Now, this is what the syntax and we have seen the demonstration where uh, we just created a table, sample table, and get the value column A and column B as an int parameter is and define a variable and get the value from the table and display. Now here we are, we are going to do, first we are going to create a table of student where we have ID, grade, name, and marks type of columns. Once the table is created, we'll put some sample data inside it. And once this is ready, then we are going to create a procedure to find the name of a student who scored mark 67 and create a procedure to display marks obtained by student name Alex. So objective of this session is to learn how to create a stored procedure and get a single data into a variable and display that variable using stored procedure. Now let's start the demonstration. First, we are going to create table. I'm using Oracle Express Edition 11G database server. Remember, drop, create, all these are data definition language statements. Once you create, you cannot roll back it. Now, if you see the table structure supposed to be like this column id student id you can have a sequence just in case if you want to practice that and for sequence you can refer to the sql tutorial the sql playlist and i'm just giving a sample values for table let's make it quick and uh, name will be var cat type some size of that variable and marks will be your number type where uh, just give the six size the table is created insert some values i need to get the values in the dynamic way so you know runtime values so i'm just using m percent reference instead of uh, entering again and again for the user values i'm taking the same values as it is in the table for less confusion and add some more the rule for uh, execution of the same last statement, we use backslash. STD3. This one you can create it and call the sequence at the time of the execution of insert statement. And 78. And I'm just having one more data just for trial. And um, make it more. 
So commit. So data is ready. Now as per the procedure instruction, it says to find the name of a student of table, table name who scored where marks obtained equals 67. So this is what we need to get the output from the procedure. Another procedure instruction says you need to display the marks from student table where name is Alex or Paul or John, any name of the student you can use. So these two output we need from the PL SQL. So for execution of PL SQL, I recommend to use a specific ID that will help you to make it easy execution and writing a script instead of going in a traditional way using notepad and execute it, the SQL file. So what we can do, we just going to use SQL developer. You can get it, it's free to download and install it. And uh, from Oracle, you can download and install it. So let's open the SQL developer and create these procedures and execute it there. This is my SQL developer IDE and I have already connected my connection here. And this is my connection, database connection. In here, I have my student table, which we have created through the SQL development current. I want to show you that table. Let's refresh it student table this is my student table and this is the data now we are going to have the query builder here so as per our SQL syntax create or replace procedure procedure name in parameter is as variable declaration begin PL SQL subprogram body end. So this is what we are going to do here create or replace procedure student procedure one. So as per our first one we need to As for our first uh, execution of procedure, it says you need to display the name of the student. So, stater, student name will be the out parameter and we are going to retrieve it from the table student. Uh, next is begin and uh, here m equals to some variable uh, some value and here we have to use then uh, next is select your uh, s name select column name into variable s name from student table where your uh, marks equals to M. And once this is done, you can display the name. What we can do, student name, who scored end now let's execute and see the procedure is compiled 
Now, if you want to see the output, you can find out this procedure here. Here, some errors are here. Let's figure it out. So remember, we don't need to give the type. We have to just give the number variable, a variable data type, that's it. So suppose I need to make a change here and uh, I need to get the value of uh, student name who scored 78. Yeah, 78. So John who scored 78. So what is happening when we create a procedure? Every time when we make any changes, if you save, it will compile and recreate your student procedure. And when you execute it, it will ask your vari variable character and show you the pre-compiled uh, PLSQL block, you see, and then you can execute it. Now, in case I wanted to reverse this, for example, I need to give marks as an output and name as variable, input variable. You see, so what I can do here, assign the variable here, or you can do another way is, you can directly enter the variable. I wanted to know how much marks are scored by Paul. So, marks. Here, you need to give the column name. Put it in some variable. You see what I made the changes. I'm taking the value of score. This time, this time, what is my output? My output is I wanted to know how much Alex, student name Alex, scored marks or uh, Paul scored marks. So for that, I am putting my output para parameter as a score in input variable, it will be your student name. So student name equals to Paul or you can give Alex and marks is the variable is the column name which is stored in the score variable score out variable from student table where name is equals to student name that is equals to paul and let's see the execution this is a pre-compiled pl sql block of the procedure student name paul who scored 89 so this is how you can connect uh, to the table and get the values of the table and store it in variable and display it on PLSQL stored procedure. Since in PLSQL stored procedure, you can get a single value of the table, stored it in variable, and that you can process it in later. And in the next session, what we are going to do, we are going to get multiple values from the table and display it and process it and put some triggers and all checks and so stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and for any questions and concerns and source code needed please contact techcrunch2019 at gmail.com thank you